All the way from the 212 to you, it's your boy Jay Mills, and right now I'm chilling with Mikey T, the movie star. You know what it is. Wayne asked me in the studio a few weeks ago. He was like, um, I asked him when he was putting the car to four out. So he told me we were going to go on tour, and then he, that's how he's setting up the car to four and everything. Um, he was like, when are you going to be ready? He was like, you trying to put, you trying to put your album out after mine? And I know he, he always play like little psychology games with you like that, like say shit to see what you're going to say. But I was just, I was, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Like, I don't wanna come out no time when you come out. <laughs> like, let the Carter Four come out and, you know, that's what I meant to say, Carter Four. Let the Carter Four come out and let that do its numbers and work that project and do what you're gonna do. And, you know what I'm saying? I told him I want the summer. Like, the summer, or, you know, right back to school time. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere around here. That's, that's what I would want. I don't really wanna get caught in the fourth quarter. You know what I'm saying? It's my first debut album, so. That's the big dogs right there, so you let them do their thing around that time. <laughs> um, when he first got out, it was crazy, man, because you know you don't know what mode he gonna be in after his daughter, you know what I'm saying, time in, in jail. But he was just full spirits, man. He had him a cigar, had his shades on, hoodie halfway up, smiling, give you a dap, give you a hug, good to see you, man, love you. That's it, and just kept it, you know, he just continued on with his night. We had a big party, a bank vault. <laughs> And then we went to King of Diamonds, and that was just an experience within an experience. So he enjoyed himself, so we all enjoyed ourselves, man. You know, you know, it's so crazy though. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I gotta give him a lot of, I gotta give him a lot of respect for that, because I'm not gonna lie. Going and live every Sunday in King of Diamonds every Monday, and just being sober. More power, more power to you, Mr. Carter. More power to you, brother. Cause I can't do it. But if I had to do it, you know what I'm saying. If you gotta do it, if you're on probation and your freedom is on the line. That's just what it is, but more power to him, man. You know and to the casket drop, man, I fuck with Wayne, he a real dude, man. Like, not even on no, not even on no rap shit. First of all, it take a lot for a rapper to want to help another rapper. More or less help a nigga, like, get on a song. And like, It take a lot for a nigga to want to do that. And I'm not from where you from. I'm not from your block. I'm not from your city, your town, your state. I'm not from your region. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even from your part of the world. You know what I'm saying? So for him to still want to help me get the way he at, Get that money that he getting, you gotta respect that to the casket drop, man. And you gotta ride out for him the same way he put it on the line when he was back in New York and you ain't have shit. He put you on that flight to come out here to get you right. Like my nigga, it's whatever. How I can help, I can help. So I never would have thought that shit. Like I never would have thought at one point I would be down with cash money. You know what I'm saying? Or I, I never would have imagined no shit like that. I'm from Harlem. You ain't never even. Met a nigga from Harlem that fucked with cash money, <laughs> young money or something like that. It was niggas that been cool with him. Baby ain't never had no artists from Harlem. Wayne ain't never had no artists from Harlem. He fucked with a lot of niggas from Harlem. It's different when you got a nigga at that table with you from Harlem. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bring my own soul there, and then they just gonna add on their experiences. You know what I'm saying? Take me around the world, show me all sorts of shit I ain't never seen before. That's, that's just gonna make my shit more potent. Cool. Yeah, like the little, little shark island that go through the living room and shit under the elevator in the house. Wow. It's cool, man. That's the, call that the man, that's the Young Money Mansion. And it's crazy because that's his house, but we could, like, we all just be over there. Like, we eat over there at the long table, we got the chef, got the chef. Like, it's like on some real cruise. That's why I'm trying to tell people it's, it's kind of hard to think like you want a label. You know what I'm saying? It's more some cruise shit, it's really more some family shit. You rocking with your homies. You ain't rocking with a CEO and a boss. He don't make you feel like you around a bunch of rich niggas and you just an artist. You know what I'm saying? He make you feel like you rich too. All of us. You know what I'm saying? That's just the lifestyle we live. So it is what it is, man. Do you ever